Simonya is a two-time Olympic champion and three-time world champion athletics governing body has promised to respect the court of arbitration for sports, CAS, decision on rules over testosterone levels in female athletes. The IF has ruled some female runners with naturally high testosterone levels will have to race against men or change events, unless they take medication. But Olympic and World 800 meters champion Castor Semenya has said she will fight the decision, calling it unlawful. The IF and Athletics South Africa have agreed to honor any decision. The meeting was cordial with both organizations agreeing that the Court of Arbitration for Sport was the right body to arbitrate this matter and its final decision will be respected by both organizations. The rule, which comes into force on 1 November, applies to women who race in track events from 400 meters up to the mile," said an International Association of Athletics Federations statement. Cass says an arbitration procedure has been opened and a hearing will be held at a later date. Sumanya, a two-time Olympic champion and three-time world champion, has previously been asked to have gender testing by athletics chiefs, but no results have officially been made public. I just want to run naturally, the way I was born, said the 27-year-old South African. It is not fair. Testosterone is a hormone that increases muscle mass strength and hemoglobin, which affects endurance. Lawyers Norton Rose Fulbright are leading Semenya's legal challenge in Lausanne, Switzerland. They said, M. Semenya, like all athletes, is entitled to compete the way she was born without being obliged to alter her body by any medical means. Wednesday's statement said IAF President Lord Sebastian Coe had insisted no individual athlete has been targeted in the creation of the regulations. Co added that the IF has a responsibility to be inclusive, while also ensuring fair and meaningful competition. He said, to do this we need to create competition categories within our sport that ensures that success is determined by talent, dedication and hard work, rather than by other factors that are not considered fair or meaningful, such as the enormous physical advantages that an adult has over a child, or a male athlete has over a female athlete. We therefore need to come up with a fair solution for intersex, DST athletes wishing to compete in the female category which is what the new regulations set out to do, based on the evidence the IF has gathered about the degree of performance benefit that such intersex, DST athletes get from their higher levels of circulating testosterone. 